Mini-drill, also called mini-etcher, is a tool similar to a regular electric drill, but of course of different size and power. Power of this small size electric device is compensated by the number of turns. Thus it is possible to perform all necessary operations like drilling, grinding, etching and cutting. User safety and integrity of components are ensured by a speed control function. The device is light, thus a user won't be burdened by it during long operation. A flexible shaft makes operation of the mini drill highly efficient. Being very light, the shaft significantly facilitates the operation as the user does not feel it when holding it. A flexible shaft can perform all of the above mentioned operations as the drill itself. It also has an extra function. It works in places which are difficult to access where the drill won't do because of its frame sizes. Now we shall tell you in detail and show main functions of the flexible shaft. We prepare the tool for the operation. First we remove the plastic coupling from the drill. Let's remove the retaining ring and insert the shaft into the opening. Then we clamp the retaining ring and fix it with a washer onto the frame. We hang the drill on a hook of a special stand which is set somewhere in a convenient place, preferably on the left from the frame. So first of all, we choose the operation. For example, grinding an instrument which has become inoperable. In order to clamp the component in a collet, we set a lock wrench into a special socket of a connecting branch and fix it in the opening. Then we turn on the drill and adjust the number of turns. The frame of a flexible shop is very light and convenient. It is recommended to divide its operation time into 20-25 minute periods. So this is how we do the grinding. Then we can show how the cutoff wheel is used. For example, we need to cut off a protruding edge of a synthetic resin bonded paperboard. We also insert the adapter into a collet, fix it with a wrench and clamp it. We fix the cutoff wheel. The wheel is quite frail, so be sure to use safety goggles. We need to cut off a section of a resin bonded paperboard. The material is quite soft, so we can increase the speed. Let's assume that you need to grind a damaged glass surface for example of spectacles. We insert a special coupling with a grinding element and 
and then turn on the drill. In this case we can reduce the number of turns. We perform the operation. For example, we remove a scratch from the glass. It is also easy and simple to do. After you are done, be sure to turn off the power. All electric appliances require a thorough maintenance. So please make sure that you don't leave any dirt, dust or chips on the device. You can remove them with the help of a cloth and a brush. The drive of flexible shaft has also to be periodically lubricated. In this way you will avoid its premature wear and tear.